Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see what is big data. So that is the buzzword right now, right? So if you talk to anybody in the industry, so people are talking about big data, people are talking about Apache, Hadoop, Spark, Hive, whatnot, right? So uh, recently I attended a webinar on uh, big data uh, with Hadoop and uh, Apache Spark. So I also was learning, uh, learning uh, big data uh, uh, right now. So um, I'm going to learn big data along with you guys. So in this particular series, we are going to see what is big data. So in the uh, subsequent videos, we are going to see what is Hadoop, what is Apache Spark, what is Storm, uh, what are the internal components and how these are getting tied up together to uh, the big data ecosystem. Okay. So right now in this particular session, we are going to see what is big data and why is it important right now. So what is big data? So big data is nothing but a huge set of information which we have right now. So why, why was it not there, right? So it is nothing new basically. So this is the, nothing but existing data which we had previously as well. But the problem is we did not keep it, keep it alive. So basically for example, uh, if you consider 20 years ago, so we did not keep every information in our system and we did not analyze it okay what we are doing right now is we are storing them and analyzing it so that is why we are exposed to this huge amount of information and that's that's why big data is a big deal right now so if you had uh, been if you had seen before 20 years or something so we did not have uh, this many number of people using devices uh, people never use internet and stuff like that right now data is flowing in huge chunks into the internet uh, and everywhere around the world so and people are trying to keep that information and they want to analyze that information for some future use. So that is why this big data problem has come into evolution. So this problem was there from the day one. So inside big data, the data itself is the problem. So we did not handle it or we did not store it previously. Right now we are going to store it and then analyze it using the different technologies which we have right now. So where does this big data help, right? In large scale, um, in large scale industry, uh, in the real real time um, industry. So if you see healthcare domain, so it is used for uh, the research anal analytics on uh, what is our blood uh, sample doing and all these kind of information. So there is huge uh, chunk of information or the data which is uh, created out of the health uh, healthcare domain for research purposes. So it is it can be used there. Same way fraud detection for forensic analysis. Uh, so where where is uh, where, where they can identify uh, the uh, trans uh, what is that the graphical data information and then they can come up with um, uh, fraud if if it is happening inside a, a system. Okay. The the other part is the machine machine learning. So right now you would have seen all the uh, new technology companies launching AI, um, VI and all those things, right? AR AI, AI, AR VR. Uh, all these uh, latest buzz right so they use machine learning to understand stuff and then uh, do data processing so big data is used in machine learning as well the next one would be sensor based data so for predictive analysis so if you want to um, predict some information based on sensors so for example if you have heard about amazon go amazon has come up with a uh, store where if you go into the store it will automatically um, uh, take your profile and when you pick up a product it automatically adds products to your basket so they all do that by uh, by means of sensors so big data is used in that case as well so that is where uh, people see big data as a next thing okay so what are some sample big data use cases which we are seeing right now daily day to day right so basic things are twitter data tweets Facebook post if you see uh, Facebook as uh, people post in Facebook so everybody has a Facebook account and we post data daily right so we load Facebook with huge amount of data so that is that is where Facebook uses big data uh, cellular tower information so whatever uh, tower information gets transmitted every time from the cellular towers uh, the cellular companies use that data so that is also huge stock information so every stock information uh, which get the change in the price or change in the stock which happens in the stock market inventory information so for example amazon inventory or 
any flipkart inventory or um, alibaba inventory right so you have so much amount of information in the e-commerce industry so how do we store the inventory information so that is that for that also big data is used so let's uh, take a quick snap and then uh, let's go through this question right so how much data does facebook process in a day so any guesses so i'll just give a few seconds for people to guess right so the answer is 600 terabytes so facebook processes 600 terabytes of data in a day so basically uh, that much amount of information is being posted on facebook so this is not the exact figure but this is just the source of um, the figure from facebook for reference okay so why do we need big data now so why are we uh, using big data now if we could have used uh, big data technologies right then right so why is it being reinvented now so the major uh, feature is because of the hardware capability so right now if you see the mm, uh, see where we are with the cloud and all uh, the hardware improvements so people are now thinking about processing huge amount of information using big data technologies so that is why uh, the people are thinking about okay we have hardware capability so i can book a hardware very quickly i can scale vertically so i can scale uh, horizontally as well so uh, people are thinking about different options and now they have luxury to choose different hardware technologies or the software technologies for processing the big data solution so <clears throat> that is why we build that is that is one of the reason the next reason is uh, reduced storage cost so previously if you had uh, worked on um, uh, large scale systems like right? the like the ibm machines the main frames or the uh, the linux maybe the pre linux era right so the storage cost used to be a major factor for everybody okay right now it's all gone so it has reduced a uh, lot reduced by a lot uh, because of the uh, cloud invention and all the stuff right so the next one will be the open source environment so the open source community is evolving uh, enormously and uh, people are con uh, concentrating on open source and contributing to it uh, than never before so there are lots of uh, people who are working on um, solving problems um, via the open source environment so that is why uh, people go for open source it is free so if let's say i want to use a software first i will see if it is in open source then only i go and use it because uh, why would you want to spend um, so much money on a technology which you don't know whether it will work or not right so that is that is why open source environment is a key factor now the next one would be the web case companies in economy so if you see all the google uh, googles and amazons are in the industry so they are using big data solution because they have huge chunks of uh, data and they are able to um, yield results so everyone wants to now uh, use it because people have seen that okay this has yielded good amount of result so that is why people are now not hesitant to go to big data world okay let's go through another question so how much time do you think it takes to read a 1 terabyte file from a hard disk i'll just give you a few seconds to just um, uh, throw you so throw some numbers right so so initially when i was um, guessing this answer right so i was thinking it will take maybe an hour plus or something but the answer is it takes around 6 hours and also it depends upon your hard disk how much um, uh, processing does it uh, depends upon your processor because that also um, contributes to your read read right so so how how is the big data defined in the current industry right current world so if you are processing hundreds of terabytes of data till the n petabytes so or maybe zettabyte or whatever so so then you are processing a big data solution okay so people basically uh, these are just the definitions which people have come up with but uh, there are people who are using big data technologies even though if they don't process hundreds of terabytes but this is just uh, uh, what do you call uh, it's not a manifesto kind of thing it's just a, a definition okay people who use hadoop technology then they do big data processing so uh, i don't necessarily agree with that because there are people who who just start using hadoop just for the sake of the technology usage 
but if it is if the data really doesn't make any sense then it is not required but if you are using a hadoop technology then you are using a big data technology solution and the major one would be the volume velocity and variety so if you have um, achieved these three then you are using big data solution so what are these three b's right so volume is if your volume is so huge right so if your volume is so huge then how much velocity is your system adding to process that volume okay and how much variety does that data have so there are three different types of varieties right so one is structured data one is semi structured data and the other one is non structured data so structure structured data in the sense you know the data type and you know the data and the fields which are there in the data in the um, uh, data that is structured data semi structured is you know the data the fields but you don't do uh, but you are not sure about the data type that is semi structured data uh, but the non structured data is you don't know what data type it is and what are the fields in the in the data so those are the three b's so if you are processing these uh, based on these three b's then you are using a big data technology solution next one would be um, exceeds processing capacity of a conventional database yeah so which comes to this 100 terabytes right so if if your um, database is not able to process that much amount of information then if you write a solution to use if you use different solutions to you uh, to process the data then you are um, using big data technology solution finally uh, using distributed or parallel processing to process your data so if you are using um, big data solutions you have to do uh, distributed or parallel processing because if you see um, i was telling right so 1 terabyte of information takes around 6 hours if you see hundreds of terabytes imagine 6 hours into 100 right so it takes 600 hours so if you want to process the data, data within a day you can't process it so imagine how facebook might be doing it they they process 600 terabytes of data right so imagine 600 into 6 into 100 like 600 into 600 hours that is that is impossible right so and they process the data per day so so unless they have a distributed or a parallel processing system they cannot do that so that is why a system which is using distributed or parallel processing for loading huge amount of data it is also considered as a big data system so finally what are the different technologies which are there um, for processing this big data right so these are the different technology stacks which are out there so apache hadoop spark storm solar cassandra mongodb hpace hive mahot uzi apache kafka amazon s3 hdfs azure so these are different technology stacks so there are more to it i didn't add everything but uh, these are the different technology stacks you would hear uh, which are used in the big data technology solution okay so we will see uh, each one of this um, with an example in the next uh, video but in this video we just understood what is big data why do we need big data and why is it important right now and what are the different technologies which are there in big data solution and uh, where are the big data technologies used so we saw the use cases right the um, the healthcare industry or the real time data processing wherever the internet is so so that that's it about this particular video so hope you understood what is big data and what are the different technologies which are there and why do we need it right now um, so in the next video we will see um, how these technologies are tied up to process the big data and make it um, readable or analyzable right so yeah that's it for this video so if you like the video go uh, go ahead and uh, hit the like button if you have any comments or uh, anything go ahead and uh, drop that below so meet you again in the next video thank you